24 hours for firefighting crews in northern Minnesota as they battle fires on the Arrowhead. Thank you so much for joining us here at 6. I'm Amy Hawker. And I'm Randy Meyer. The Greenwood Fire has now grown to more than 2,000 acres. Planes now starting to assist in that firefighting efforts. Our Paul Bloom has been with crews near the front lines all day long. He joins us now live from Two Harbors. Paul, how are those fire crews holding up up there? And how are they doing fighting the fire? Well, great question, Randy. You know what it is? The wind is giving crews fits tonight north of Lake Superior. Basically, crews have been attacking it from the ground and from the air. I can tell you tonight, we are about 40 miles straight south of the Greenwood Fire here in Two Harbors, basically because we have a more reliable network connection. But I can tell you the Lake County Sheriff's Office has evacuated about 80 people because homes, cabins, and other building structures are threatened by the flames of the Greenwood Fire. With the Greenwood fire growing nearby, crews attacking from the air Tuesday. We watched you out the afternoon as planes dove down onto Sand Lake, scooped up water, and then it doused the flames less than a half mile away. Each run taking no more than a minute or two. At last check, Greenwood was burning 2,000 acres. All season long, we watched our fuels conditions, the dryness continue. And uh, that's very problematic for us, especially when we get fire weather. Here on Sand Lake, it's interesting. We are actually in the closed or the fire evacuation zone. Yet we did meet one longtime cabin owner on the lake who asked authorities if he could stay an extra night. His big concern right now, the wind. This wind is really not good. It's been blowing since it started, and it's blowing through the nights, too, and that's kind of uncommon. It's continuing to push this fire. And with any wind shift, all of a sudden what could be a long flank of fire becomes a head of fire and it becomes very problematic. It really uh, reduces our effectiveness because then the aircraft gets spread really quite a ways out. The fire first spotted a couple days ago, a cause still yet to be determined. Ground crews here at the ready should the wind shift. Rick now hoping for the best. So they're set up for protecting buildings. So, I mean, if, if the... If the fire got close to the cabins, then those guys would come in and set up sprinklers, I guess, and, and do what they could. And just into Fox 9, as uh, our story aired, the fire now being estimated at 3,200 acres burning, meaning it has basically tripled in the last couple of days in size. Of course, that firefighting effort is going to continue deep into the night. It is important to note also in the last hour or so, the Red Cross announcing it has opened an emergency overnight shelter. That's up the road at the Finland Community Center, hoping uh, those who've been evacuated or those who can't get home because of all the road closures up here on the Arrowhead, again, a place for them to stay, courtesy of the Red Cross. For now, we're live in Two Harbors. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Oh.